Fine. So the final topic we have to cover for the first lecture is the difference between qualitative and quantitative data, as well as how you can transform your qualitative data in order to make them quantitative. Because in statistics, we always deal with numbers. And that's why for some variables, you just have to assign some numerical value in order to be able to use your data for statistical analysis purposes. So first of all, let's start with some discussion regarding the nature of quantitative and qualitative data. First of all, quantitative data is countable and measurable. So they are always about variables which might be assigned certain value. When it comes to age, or the level of income, uh, or number of children, and so on and so forth, we discuss quantitative data. When it comes to qualitative data, those are usually not countable and not measurable. For instance, you know that certain people have certain characteristics. Some people are married. Some people are divorced. Some people have children. Some people do not. Some people are foreigners. Some people are Polish citizens. You hypothesize that those characteristics might have some effect on the variables you are interested in. For instance, you might be interested in how often those people buy certain goods or how much those people are willing to save, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, quantitative data typically provide answers to questions such as how many, how much, how often, and so on and so forth, while qualitative data are typically about the following questions. Which attributes, why, how, and so on. And although it might seem to be very complicated to transform qualitative data to quantitative data, it's still possible. And you still can use those data in your statistical analysis. So let's start with the first example, which is about transforming qualitative data to categorical variables. As we discussed in the previous video, Categorical variables are typically discrete and ordinal. And consider the following example. Imagine that you want to check uh, some patterns in consumer purchasing behavior among people with different types of depression. So you know that you can distinguish between three types of consumers who are slightly depressed, moderately depressed, or severely depressed. So even though you cannot say that being severely depressed is three times worse than being slightly depressed, you can definitely say that being severely depressed is worse than being slightly depressed. So there is a certain hierarchy here. And whenever there is certain hierarchy, you can apply your categorical variables. So in this case, you would design the variable called depression. And for the first group of consumers who are slightly depressed, you would assign the value equal to one. For those who are moderately depressed, you would assign the value equal to two. And for those who are severely depressed, you will assign the value equal to three. So again, this variable is discrete. It can only take three values, one, two, or three. It's impossible to have something like 2.5. But nevertheless, again, whenever there is certain hierarchy, it's suitable uh, to transform your qualitative data to quantitative data using categorical variables. No problem about this at all. Another option is dummy variable. So dummy variable, as you remember, can take only two values, zero or one. And typically in statistical analysis, we use it in order to assess the existence of some categorical effect. For instance, 
you hypothesize that males and females have different consumption pattern. But this is qualitative data. This is certain attribute, like gender or sex. So in this case, you can specify dummy variable and call it male, for instance. And if the respondent is a man, this variable will take the value of 1. And if the respondent is not a male, this variable will take the value of 0 otherwise. You can also use dummy variables if you deal with more than two categories of agents. For instance, imagine that you want to analyze the difference in consumption patterns and you have three groups of respondents, males, females and non-binary people. So in this case, you specify variable male, which, as we discussed before, takes the value of 1 if the respondent is male and the value of 0 otherwise. You specify variable female. This variable takes the value of 1 if respondent is female and the value of 0 otherwise. But this is really important and please keep it in mind. Uh, it does not really make that much sense to specify the third variable, non-binary, because the information about this is already contained in the first two variables. So if for certain person variable male is equal to zero and variable female is equal to zero, it automatically indicates that this person is non-binary. That's why, typically, when you use dummy variables, uh, the number of those variables should be smaller than the number of possible categories by one. Because again, in this case, you have three categories of people and two variables are enough in order to assign certain category. So I believe that's it when it comes to transformation of qualitative data to quantitative data. Uh, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next lecture.